<clears throat> well it's one o'clock in the morning on uh, Saturday July the 23rd and we're just getting to the end the northern end now of this great long 35 odd mile island Prince Carl's Foreland as it's called it's been been covered in cloud all day the clouds lifting a little bit no, but we're not seeing it very well down there rather interesting is uh, probably the best the best looking glacier that we've seen so far on our travels well seven o'clock in the morning of uh, 23rd of July getting very close to uh, a month sort of date wise since we left we left at um, left White Hills at five o'clock in the evening on 23rd of June and we're plugged away plugged away and finally uh, we've got to 79 degrees north actually 7901 now I miss the actual 79 because I was having a kip um, and things have moved a little bit in our favour um, we've got a nice westerly wind now which uh, is a good wind for going uh, north into sort of potential ice territory well just a quick update on the chart now um, it's uh, Saturday the uh, forgotten. Sorry. Uh, Saturday the 23rd of July um, we've been at sea for 30 days on the chart um, this is the west coast of uh, Spitsbergen in here is the East Fjorden where is uh, where Long, Long Year Bien is um, located and we made our landfall sort of down here the whales were here this area um, at the mouth of the, the East Jordan then we've come up the side of uh, this the island I've been talking about very long narrow island which is uh, Prince Carl's land we are now moved beyond that and if you see this line across here is 79 north we're currently here well it's uh, nearly midday on uh, July the 23rd um, and actually w exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen has happened this uh, wind which was uh, from the west has gone southwest and now south uh, and strengthened quite a bit we're currently here to the northwest of um, Prince Carl's Foreland and we're in about 79.10 so we're 50 miles from 80 north and possibly the edge of the ice I mean I, I don't know as I explained earlier um, <clears throat> however what I'm not prepared to do is just to race on um, further and further into this trap uh, without knowing or with the possibility that this wind turns into say a southerly gale and um, I effectively entrap myself up here um, that would not be good well just a quick update as you can see from the GPS it's uh, just after two o'clock on the morning of July the 24th the uh, southwesterly wind that I was concerned about uh, yesterday um, uh, that concern did turn out to be valid it ended up blowing half a gale for a while um, so I just had to hold position I didn't dare run north in that however um, that has now eased off and fortunately it has veered to the west so we've got um, a reasonable wind for uh, making our final little assault on 80 degrees north absolutely on the beam so at least if I run into trouble I can immediately um, turn around and run back 
absolutely on the heading that I came in on, uh, straight to the south. Uh, the problem now is we've got really, really thick fog out there. I'm not going to um, show it to you because it's too bloody cold actually uh, filming out there um, in the fog. Uh, but as you can see we're in 79 degrees 32.9 so almost 33 so we've got about 27 miles to go uh, to get to 80 north. Uh, I'm just having to be very careful if I want to have a sleep uh, of any sort from here on I'm just going to have to um, drop the mainsail and stop stop completely because I can't just allow the boat to sail on on its own um, in the fog with possibility of ice I, I really don't know um, whether we're likely to meet ice before 80 north I suspect not but I can't discount that um, so uh, I'm proceeding very very carefully and actually effectively keeping a permanent watch uh, and as I say if I want to have a skip I'm, I'm going to have to stop but anyway um, at our current rate of progress um, it's about, well we're doing at the moment about two and a half knots, so uh, 27 miles, not much more than 10 hours, so perhaps by around about midday tomorrow, if uh, nothing untoward happens, we might actually arrive at 80 north.